bet you I can get more likes than you. Okay. Ready? And post. Ladies and gents, for those who are new, I'm Daniel. Just hit that subscribe button now, get it out of the way, because today we are talking about boosting that Instagram engagement. Now, I'm not promising you like supermodel results with 10 million likes. You're not Kylie Jenner. I'm not Kylie Jenner. I'm also not an egg on the internet, so we're probably not gonna hit those numbers. But it is one little trick that you can do that's gonna make your pictures just that much better. It's just something that you're already doing by posting. You just have to make a tiny little bit more effort. Boom, engagement. Now, Instagram, being the jerks that they are, have this algorithm that nobody really understands. And what they do is they prioritize the more engaging posts. So the more engagement there is on your post, the better your post does. Is it fair? Probably not. Is that what makes you see all the big accounts? Yeah, do you wanna get your smaller account up there? Try this, I bet you it'll help. What we're gonna do is take the photo that you were gonna post, whether it's a portrait photo, whether it's landscape photography, whatever you're posting about, okay? You're gonna do a carousel, which is more than one photo. The first photo is gonna be a large photo, the full picture, the full landscape, the full portrait, whatever it is, that's your first photo. Second and third photos are gonna be a zoomed in detail of the shot. Now, frame it accordingly, pick the best composition to zoom into, don't just zoom into nothing. Like if you have a picture of a smoking hot girl, don't zoom into her shoulder, cause that, what, what is that gonna do? Nothing. Zoom into an important feature like the eyes or a certain part of the landscape that's really gonna catch the viewer's attention. And what you're gonna do is format it so that you can cut it in half and make like a scrolling panorama. So whoever's swiping through that carousel sees your full picture and then they see a close up detail and they can swipe through the panorama. You can do this with two photos, you can do this with three photos, just make it nice and long so as they keep scrolling, it's just one continuous photo. Like I said, as a photographer, you're really not doing anything extra. You were gonna post that photo anyway, you might as well post that second little bit to just keep people on your picture a little bit longer. And if those people are staying on your picture a little bit longer, it's gonna be better for your engagement and it's gonna keep people there, it's gonna get more likes and it'll get recognized by Instagram and you will definitely benefit from the stupid algorithm that nobody really knows about. Honestly, I'm sure you guys have seen this trick already on Instagram, but I think start doing it, start trying it, let me know how it goes. In Photoshop, it's actually really easy to do. The format for Instagram is four by five, and what I like to do is go 1200 by 1500 pixels, and then you're gonna double that. So if you have two pictures that you wanna do a panorama slide of a jig thing with, you're gonna go 1200 pixels across, 1200 pixels again, so 2400 pixels across by 1500 high, okay? Once you have that open in Photoshop, you're gonna cut that right down the middle, save the left side as a picture, save the right side as a picture, upload them in order on Instagram, finished. It's that simple, it's a tiny little thing you can do, and if you pair that with asking a question or some of the best practices, there are a million videos on YouTube about best Instagram practices. I'm not gonna go that far in depth with it. But if you pair that up with a couple more best practices, I guarantee you, you're gonna get better results on your photos, more likes, more comments, more subscribers or followers. So confusing, subscribers on YouTube, followers on Instagram. Just make it all the same. Anyway, it's gonna make your photos just that tiny bit better. And I am curious to see if you guys notice results. So what I'm gonna say is, in the comments below, let me know if you're already doing this. Let me know if you try it and you notice a difference. I'm gonna start doing it more often. I've done it a couple times on previous posts. You can check out my Instagram right here and see the older ones as well as some of the ones I'm gonna be adding as a result of this video. It's something that I'm gonna start doing more in 2019 and I think if you guys are doing that with your photos in 2019, it's only gonna yield awesome results. So what are we waiting for? Let's do this together. You and I, you specifically, all of you and I, let's do it. Now if you guys like this, if you thought it was helpful or you think it's gonna help, if you think I'm way off base, let me know. But at the end of the day, hit that subscribe button, like the video, hit that little bell so you can be like, yes, new Daniel video, I'm in. 
and I will be happy to help you guys with more stuff, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. See ya! We're done. Great. That's a wrap, folks. I didn't even have to freaking wear pants. Well, you did have to wear pants because that's just weird if you did. <laughs>